when I say when they say badass Billy Gun, I say dead ass Billy Gun. The guy was dead, and he takes offense with that. But it's true. He should say, "Yes, I was dead. I was doing jobs for Flash Punk. I was doing jobs for Rock. I was doing jobs for uh, uh, James. You were dead." And Jim Ross going, "He's the purest athlete in the W. The fuck athletes. He ain't no fucking athletes in professional wrestling. <laughs> you're not a fucking athlete. If you're an athlete, you'd be playing pro football." Wrestlers don't have to be. At, I got two. I got two guys sitting right here. They both weigh 400 fucking pounds a piece, and I can make them the goddamn uh, uh, pit bulls, the American pit bulls, and go out and make money. The best hills I ever saw had a beer belly and fucking buggy whip arms. Hey, you purest athlete, pure athlete. What the fuck? We're not recruiting for something. Oklahoma boomer sooner, you fucking idiot. Anyway, was that all a holdover from the from the Crockett stuff? I that, don't where... know. I don't know what this silly motherfucker was doing, and they should have told him stay off of this college fucking foot. Hey, Ron Summers, he all American at Florida State. Fuck that shit. Nobody gives a fuck. Wrestling fans don't look at fucking pro sports. Wrestling fans don't go to the Phillies games. Wrestling fans don't go to the fucking Bronco games. Wrestling fans don't watch the fucking Diamondbacks. How many times have you seen a wrestling fan sitting in the audience with Austin 316 or Hulkamania or The Rock? Never. Wrestling fans live in trailer parks. Wrestling fans live week to week. The best time to book a wrestling show it's when they get their welfare fucking check.